Hi. So it's raining out today. So I was making some more of these uh, Lee uh, mini slugs to uh, test with the shotgun. I got set up with a scope on it now, not just a red dot, but a scope on my smoothbore slugger gun. But after I got done loading them, I had loaded these. These were the uh, number two shot and three triple watt buck loads, um, that, uh, shot loads that I loaded, mini shells. Now you look at that and you say to yourself, that looks pretty good. It's an inch and three eighths, so it works through the opsol thing. Uh, we're gonna go through this again. Take my word for it, it's an inch and three eighths long. All right, so I made these up, and you'll see I have a few of them left. The reason I have a few of them left are this is what it looks like after it's fired. Had that little mini roll crimp. It all looked good. I mean, it shot and everything, but it would not eject out of the shotgun. And here I'm going to tell you why is because these need to be an inch and three quarter raw length to an inch and seven eighths raw length. So you want them an inch and seven eighths if you're going to, if I'm going to do my slug load, I need the inch and seven eighths. But if you're going to do um, a mini hull, they had to be a lot smaller. They were almost like an inch and a half or less. Uh, hold on, Where, here's my cutting tube for that. I was cutting them at about an inch and a half. Uh, so they would work and give me this little roll crimp and it would all be look good. But like I said, when I shot these, they would not eject out of the shotgun. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, is because when it's in the barrel, you fire it. Extractors grab it. When the extractors start bringing it out, before it gets a chance to kick out, it's too short. It goes and it then it just drops in your chamber and lays in there because it has no force, like it no. Um, what can I say? It almost like wedges it to fling it out of the gun. Off, but it has to be in the barrel to build that pressure to push out. So it would never, it wasn't long enough, it would be past that point. So it would just go and then just drop in the receiver. So it needed to be longer because the slug loads worked. They come out because they were roll crimped. And when they come out, they just come out and uh, flew out of the gun just like they were supposed to. So I come to the realization that, you know, that I needed, oh, here's a, uh, no, it ain't one of them. There. Here's one of the slug loads after it was fired. I only used my hauls one time. See, it's longer. See, the raw length is longer. These would not eject. This would. So then I decided I was going to roll crimp these things. But then, when I got to looking at this, you know, this Mac and all this stuff, how do you roll crimp it? It ain't long enough. It ain't long enough to get up in there. You know, you could somehow put a block of wood down here and get the story. You can't get this finished crimp on here. So, I had an old Lee load all, 12 gauge. That um, ain't that I didn't have any use for it because I, I needed a six point star crimp, but I did pick up a six point star crimp for this for the Mac. I got it now. So the Lee Lodo, I was just going to take it off the bench and, and get rid of it. So what I did was I know a lot of people might say, Oh, what the hell did you do that for? I cut. <laughs> Off of the uh, the uh, primer, priming stem, and the finished crimp stem, 
I cut off like 13 sixteenths, a light seven eighths off of that plastic tube. So now I can do this. I can put a roll crimp on it. This is a BB load. And then I looked at the Aguila loads and they don't have a shot cup inside there either. And I wanted to load BBs. This is a 9 16 ounce BB load. Uh, this is my uh, mock-up load. But it has real powder, but there's not a real primer in there. But there's 9 16 ounce of BBs in here. 245 to 250 grains of BBs. So here I'll show you making one, and uh, and we'll go from there. So obviously I already sized this and run it through my trimmer. As you can see, it's uh, trimmed real nice. I finally got my trimmer set up on my uh, drill press, so I can trim now again. So. We'll get the powder in this thing. Oh, I'm loading only 13 and a half grains of bullseye now. Because I said I was a little over pressure. And um, the ones I had picked up at the range look good. But then after I picked all of them up, some of them look like this. As you can see the whole center of the primer was blowed out. You can actually see the anvil in there. I They were over pressure. Um, so at least we fixed that. Now if you ever, here's what we're doing here. See this is a brush wad. Ballistic Products brush wad. See what you actually have, it, you could load this wad either way. You could load it any direction has a gas seal on both sides. What I do is I cut that center section out, then you end up with two gas seals. So to save you from watching me cut, here it is. Right there, cut, you can see I left a little compression zone in there. Now when you put gas seals in hulls, if you just drop it in there, it'll fall sideways, do whatever. You have to actually like pinch the hole a little wee bit Get that thing started in there. Then you gotta take a little plunger like this. You gotta keep pressure squeezing the hole. So when you put that gas seal down in there, it doesn't roll over on you. So you can't have it rolling over. Now you see, you can see it's down in there, nice and tight and straight. All right. Now, this is a shot cup just a shot cup from a clay buster 7 8 ounce load with the compression and the gas seal taken off the bottom put that down in there and get it seated down in there nice right on top of that gas seal now you want to take uh, 245 to 250 grains of uh, BBs that's a little too much there that's two 248 we like it Here, let's take one out there 245 okay so we dump them in there Get them seated in there nice. Right now, see they're all in there real nice. Now we're gonna go over to the lead load all. Head on over there. Okay. Now we're at the lead load all. Now as you can see, I'm using this six point crimp in the back. Come down there and give that a six point crimp. There it is, six point crimp. Then we stick it in here. This is the one that I cut that off. 
And as you'll see right here, I hooked on here to here where I drilled a new hole in the arm it was four inches. Crimp it. I always do this with the lead load all. Rotate it a half a turn. Crimp it again. And there you go. Oop. A little tough. Here, let's do this. There you go. That one's a little bumped up. Maybe I better crimp it again. Let's crimp it. Rotate. There we go. Been having a little trouble the right amount of shot to get in there to get it to crimp. But that's what I got. Ruined the lead load all. It's only for mini shells now. But I can make a fold crimp on a mini shell. Thanks for watching the video.